All right, what's going on guys? Back in with another video. As promised, I have managed to not accidentally click on my super magical chest. So that's down at the bottom. We have a bunch of other stuff to open. Uh, two gold chests, a free chest, super magical, and the clan chest. That my clan has earned. Let me donate two cards here. So today's video, I'm going to focus more on kind of the deck I'm using. I'm going to show you some replays. Uh, I also have had a request to add in a new tip, so I will put in a new tip. Uh, it'll add kind of onto the direct damage discussion we had, but we'll get into that when I play. So right now I'm going to open up these chests. Start with the least exciting, free chests, gold, barbarians, um, spear gobs. That's all good. Um, gold next, I guess. Gold again, great. Skeletons, hoping to get some epics, hoping that I can finish my arena two cards I need so I can make that deck. I think that might be a little bit of a theme on this channel. Fireball goblins, not bad. Yes, I can upgrade those. I'll upgrade those for sure. Other gold, gold spear gobs, goblins again. Only one. Uh, minions and fireball must be only one. Okay. Um, then we're gonna do clan chest. Gold skeletons, barbs. Haven't used those yet. Mini pekka, not bad. And a witch. Oh, all right. Okay, now we're going to go on to our Super Magical. Or just our Magical, I don't remember. Gold, nice amount of gold. Arrows, not bad. Skeletons. Spear gobs, not bad. Minions, only really looking at this for the rare. Fireball. Lightning. Oh, please be another rare. Yes! Giant Skelly. All we need now is a balloon. And we finished Arena 2's, I believe. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Is it Arena 2? Yeah, all I need now is just a balloon from the bone pit, and I can make my my level two deck. So I'm not going to click on you. No, we're not going to. I just wanna, there we go. Great. Okay, that's better. All right. Um. So all that's good. I'm going to do some upgrading now before I forget. I'm definitely going to upgrade those. I've been using those as part of the horde. Uh, minions, I'll upgrade as well. And fireball. Fireball is pretty useful. <laughs> Might as well upgrade that. Can I upgrade again? Nope. Uh, what's in our shop? Nothing great. A um, bunch of other new cards I'm not using yet, which is fine. Alright, now I'm going to take you into some replays. So I've still been kind of screwing around with the Arena 1 deck I made. And it's been going fairly well. Let's see if I can find a convincing victory. This one looks pretty convincing. Let's watch this one. Alright, so I'm just going to take you through a little bit of this deck. Uh, what I did. And how I guess I threw crown this guy. I don't remember this. I haven't looked at it. So. Just N. From No Clam. So, pretty mundane, I probably, yep, thought I played the Valkyrie first, just drop that in the back. Or did I get chip damage? Chip damage first, I guess, what do I know? Chip damage first, uh, he's running a balloon, which is a card we haven't used yet, so hopefully we'll see that in this match. Uh, he's going to come with a knight again, I dropped my, finally dropped my Valk in the back. Pack a knight, that's kind of scary, I mean, it, I don't know what he has for air defense, and then I see the balloon. Uh, so I have to distract the mini P.E.K.K.A. with the stab goblins and then the Valkyrie and the goblins on the ground. Minions are going to do a great job taking out the balloon. Uh, and then I decide this is enough that I can push. So I drop my goblin barrel. Minions get a couple hits off the tower. My Valkyrie's going to tank. I think I take this tower down pretty low. I take it all the way up. Great. There's one tower in. So that's how quickly this deck can turn. Not a lot of heavy units, but a little bunch of little small things kind of adding up. Uh, I decide I'm going to drop my dragon. Bomber gets one shot. Minions also come help. They'll deal with the knight pretty well. Um, next I decide I'm going to drop my hut, which is a pretty important part of this deck. Uh, to really build up and overwhelm, it's good to have a hut. If you can get two huts down behind, it's even better. Just for the pure amount of troops. I think I fireball. I'll fireball. This is not a bad elixir trade, what we talked about before. So I'm taking a lot of health off the witch, doing damage to the tower, a little bit of chip damage. This is more of a chip damage deck, which means slowly but surely we're going to... Damage the opponent's tower. So it's not going to happen at once. It's not a beat down deck. I don't have one card like the giant that's just going to do all my work for me. I have a bunch of little cards that are going to work together slowly over time. So we masked up on that. I'm like, this is a good enough push. I'm going to throw my goblin barrel. I already have six other goblins coming. He decides to rocket. Uh, I don't think he hits my tower. So if you're going to use my rocket to take out that tower or to take out the hut, you have to hit the tower too. Otherwise, it's not a good elixir trade. I only spent five elixir for that hut. He's spending six on the rocket. You may as well get tower damage. It's close enough. You can get tower damage and still be all right. So yeah, so now I'm knocking down absolutely no towers. So now I just need to set up my final push. I like dropping goblins when the other ones spawn. 
Uh, and because I know he doesn't have arrows or a Valkyrie or anything to defend against Splash, that's how I know I can lump all my units up. This would have been a very different game if he did have a card like a Valkyrie, a Baby Dragon, or if he had effectively used his Bomber. But he didn't. So we got the three crown overwhelmed him at the end there, and that's all you need. Okay, so that's all the replay we're going to do now. So we're going to jump into the arena. We're going to look to play for about two games, I think, hopefully we can get two wins. We do have a bunch of um, crown slots we can still use. So still same deck as you saw before, 3.4, fairly cheap, bunch of squishy units. So really I'd run into problems with cards against the Valkyrie, uh, the Bomber. Uh, bomb Tower, I haven't seen that yet. Even the Witch a little bit. And also Arrows. Okay, and Baby Dragon, of course, too. Alright, so let's try this, see how well this goes. Jumping in, haven't played yet today. Played on my other cancel a bit, so I'm a little warmed up, I guess you could say. Ala Ibab, good luck. Good luck, almost click good game. Alright, one person watching. Hmm, alright. Um, Witch... I'm going to drop my Valk to start then. I guess I'll counter his baby dragon with my baby dragon. With the help of the tower, this should take everything else out nicely. Not really enough to push. Actually, that dragon's going to go. So the dragon should hopefully tank. Oh, it's on range of the tower. Get closer. That's unfortunate. I thought that would have been range. I guess the more you know. Anyways, uh, Goblin Barrel's still going to do good work. I see his prince. I'm going to drop my Goblin Hut. I have my Stab Goblin to distract if I need to. I'll place him over here, see if he'll turn. He will turn. Just to save my tower the extra little damage. Valkyrie, this could be tricky. Gonna drop my minions to deal with that. Hopefully she doesn't get too close. And because I'm hoping that's his only splash card, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna place my goblins. This is a lot of squishy stuff. He has arrows, I'm in trouble. Fireball is also not great, but it's not as good of an elixir trade. Um, let's see if I can goblin barrel this now, because I know he's used his spell. It would really count on my goblin barrel. Should be able to chip this down. Good, chip down, great. And he left the match. Okay. Well, we may as well go straight for the three crown then. So I'm going to drop my other Goblin Hut. Now I know I can mass up because obviously he's not going to count anything. Oh, and I forgot to mention the direct damage chip. That's okay. Next game, I promise, I will mention the direct damage chip right now. Let's just focus on the three crown. Let's build up here. And this should hopefully be uh, close to enough. Yeah, that should be close enough. Person's still watching. I don't know why. I don't know who they are, but... Anyways, I guess we'll drop a sarcastic good game. Well played. Not really. Play the game out. Things don't go your way. Don't be a quitter. That's no fun. You'd be surprised. Your best comebacks are going to come from games you don't think you can win, and you end up winning. Those are pretty good feelings. All right. That was pretty quick. Maybe I'll do two more. I'll do two more. All right. So this one, I'm going to show you what I mean. So direct damage. The tip that I wanted to pass on is you don't want to activate the king tower. So if I do this, I'm going to do this. Just to show you, don't ever do this. So what I'm doing there is, oh, okay, I'm going to throw a good value fireball. I'm going to hit both towers. No. See when that king jumped? That means that he's activated now. So before you hit him or you take out another tower, the king tower won't shoot any of your things. But now because I hit it, as you'll notice, if these goblins get over here, the king tower is now going to shoot at him. There you go. See, now he's shooting at So that's not good. That's extra damage that helps him defend, and it's a no-no. So I only did that for educational purposes. Please don't try that at home. And now I'm facing an uphill battle because I did do that. Ooh, a rage spell. So please don't do that at home. I'm going to stack up a little bit. Please don't have arrows. <laughs> and I'm going to throw my golden barrel because this is not a bad push. Uh-oh. Dragon's not great either. But he targeted the wrong thing. Spear goblins take him out. Ooh, casualties in the spear goblins there. But they're all right. They'll get some chip damage again. Small amounts of damage built up over time. That's what chip damage is. All right, now I'm actually going to fireball properly here. See if I can take it. Walk into the shadow. Good. Thank you, Musketeer. See if my goblin... Nice, my goblin. Kobe them, as I call it. Um, a peck up. We're going to distract with our stab goblins over here. Come on over here. Uh, I'll drop another hut. I think I can deal with this. So there we go. I'll drop my other. So don't do that direct damage. Not worth it. His king tower is activated. Now things become harder. Uh, please don't drop a dragon. Perfect, more chip damage, just building up. Look at all those little goblins doing a bunch of work. And there's the late dragon, not great timing. Um, 14 damage, dang it. Uh, Alright, so he's doing good work against our things. Target that, great, see if we can build up again. I don't really need to work about that. I could take that out with my fireball, so I'm not in a rush to take that. I might switch lanes. Now, another reason, if I didn't have the king tower activated, and because I haven't destroyed that tower... 
If I would have switched lanes, I would have been okay because then for sure the King Tower wouldn't have been activated. Which means he still wouldn't have been able to damage. It would have been like I was, they still had both towers, except it would have been in range, in fireball range. So if you are really close to taking a tower and you know you can take it out with a fireball or a zap or something like that, just leave it because then his King Tower won't activate so he doesn't have more things to defend with. Uh, I got to deal with this. This is unfortunate. Uh, he has that stuff. Please take that. I'm going to drop that. Track the musketeer's attention. Ooh, ooh, that pack is on the tower. Not yet. Please take it out. Oh, no. This is not going well. Ooh, we got a trophy. He's going to fireball that, which is a good value. There you go. That's a good value push. I'll give him that. Um, I'm going to drop another hut, though, just to be annoying. So I've got to do some chip damage. We have an uphill, a little bit of an uphill battle here. He's dropping his giant. I don't have a mini peck in this deck, although one of my skeletons was nice enough to stay. He's raging that for some reason. I feel like that was a misclick. Um, they're going to do some chip damage. More chip damage, please. Uh, a couple goblin barrels might take this out. He drops a knight to defend. I might want to wait until he puts his fireball down before I attack. I might be able to take this out with another goblin barrel. I'm going to wait until he fireballs or does something like that. He drops that. Uh, please get take that out. Take it out. Take it out. I only have 35 seconds left. I'm going to try a goblin barrel and hopefully this will get in the fireball range. This is a good push I got going here. He's got to deal with that. Oh, good game. Didn't deal with that. Should have dealt with that. That's okay. Another victory. Undefeated so far. I'm going to show you the log here. I don't want to say good luck. I want to say good game. Great. So undefeated is the stack here. Even though I did fireball his tower to start. Not the best idea. So yeah, let's look at the log here. So victory, 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 victory. Victory, victory. When did I start using it? Kind of changed from there. And ever since then, I've had one, two, three, four, five, six wins. Pretty good for a deck. All right. One last chess slot. One last game. This time, I'm not going to fireball the King Tower. And hopefully, I'll be able to show you when I get the tower down really low why you want to leave it so then the King Tower doesn't activate and shoot. Oh, an expo. So these things are kind of annoying. Uh, I'm going to drop... Oh, I did not play that well. Should have had something else targeted. Let's see. He's not going to do a lot of damage. It's not a bad push. I'm not going to back that up. I'm just going to wait. Ooh, barbarians. So barbarians are something we haven't faced yet. So they're susceptible to splash thing. They're kind of splashy too. So my dragon will do a good job against them. I could have played my Valk against them too. I decided to go with the dragon. Uh, minions are going to be kind of annoying. If the dragon takes that out, it's good value. He has a goblin barrel. I'm going to drop spear goblins to deal with that. Have enough goblins. It shouldn't cause too much damage. Oh, he's got a huge lead on me right now. Uh, I'm going to drop a Valk. I'm going to see if I can get a goblin barrel down time. Good. So that's one thing you don't want to drop against a Valk. Skelly army. The Valk literally only does splash damage. Now I have a big push because he wasted his elixir. That tower is donezo. And now you can see the king tower is activated. So anytime you take a tower or you damage the king tower... That's when the damage, that's when it's, the King Tower is going to be activated. He decides to rock it, but he misses almost everything. This is not going well for him. Alright, I'll play my Baby Dragon in the back. More chip damage. I feel like he might have given up. Now I know he's used his rocket. I feel safe placing another hut. So that's not going to be a worry. Um, Goblin Barrel. I'm going to ignore that because I want the 3 cram. I'm greedy. So I'm going to place all this stuff. If he's smart, he'll play his Skelly Army or something to deal with that. But that's a good game. Game over. Another three crown again. Whole point is Dex just to overwhelm your opponent and swarm the crap out of them. So that's it. Golden chest end the day. Another three crowns. And before we go, I'll unlock my crown chest to see what goodies are in here. Please be a balloon. That would be a great way to end the video. Got some gems. All right. Cannons unlocked. Not bad. Skeletons. Haven't used those. Bomb tower. Please, please. Oh, archers. All right. Hopefully we'll have the bar, or the balloon in the, t in the shop sometime soon so I can do that. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and clash on my friends.